your ASMR friend. Just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. As you can see, we are not in Night City. I know. Each time I go home, it seems like I'm back on the next flight to the next place. But if you've been following me, it's been an interesting summer for your ASMR friend going through a lot of deep self-reflecting. And it made me think, you know, I should really embrace that solitude. So, I decided I should go back into space and start recording again. That's my pet Rex, by the way. I discovered this planet a little while ago, and you know, when you've traveled space as much as I have, Some planets you don't care for at all, and some you just fall in love with. And this was one of those planets. So I set up a base. And of course, it would be impossible to do, well, to explore. So even right now, I've seen structures like this, remaining parts of a freighter. You're excited, aren't you, Rex? <laughs> yeah. Hey, come here. Come here, come here. And we'll give you a little treat. You've been a good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Rex. So yeah, it's pretty common to kind of come across wreckage like this. That's what being a space explorer is all about, is seeking the unknown. And that's just as much external as it is internal. Let's check. Log damage. Partial records available. Date stamp 1456.0. My love, I dine into a black hole tomorrow. I know we agree not to. Date stamp 1492.4. I warn them about advisability of such a large vessel moving through the rift. But they are arrogant. Vain creatures, are they not? Date stamp 1540.0. We emerged into the skies above the anomaly. Reality itself has abdic abdicated here. Vast hexagons litter the landscape of this once proud planet, now become the plaything of our unseen foe. I fear I will not be back home for time. Date stamp 
We drank the water, my love. Forgive me. Well, everyone has a story. I always say that. The universe is full of mystery. there's anything we could salvage here it's worth a look hmm. alright Rex just stay close to me okay some things we could really use right now. Anytime we find resources. Knock, knock. <laughs> like we're looking into an eye. stayed out here. You don't need to breathe that in. Hmm. Well, lesson learned. <laughs> hey, Rex. Hey, Rex, come here. Come here, Rex. Listen to the humming of that. It's kind of pleasant. All right, let's get inside. And don't worry, Rex is a creature native to this planet. He'll be more than fine. still so much more to explore on this planet and you only get so many hours if I had all the time in the world that would be a different story wouldn't it so can just appreciate the here and now and when I look back at my life the odds of me roaming this planet right now the odds of you joining me for that journey what an amazing thing time is. We've both been brought into our timelines together, even if it's just for a moment.
the beautiful planets. And even though it's not my home world, nature is still nature. And yeah, I use an exosuit when I explore new planets or planets in general. Nevertheless, there's something to it. Even if you're not breathing it through your own lungs, you're in a suit that's regulating your air quality. You can still be one with nature. Visibility, right? Do you know what? I'm gonna find a random spot, a touchdown, and let's feel this planet out some more, shall we? I don't see what the harm in that would be. And like I said, and as you can see, it really is a beautiful planet. Oh. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. the most qualified pilot, but it doesn't matter. It's 61 degrees out. It's not bad at all. Listen to that. That humming of the, the whisper. Whisper, whisper, whisper. That's what I named my ship. strange anomalies that you see. I know, right? Looks like Rex, doesn't it? Maybe you know my friend? It's beautiful. It's just so peaceful and quiet out here. I can feel it in the back of my head, how just serene this place is. Yeah, we don't have plants like this back. kind of curious because this is such a huge planet with a vast amount of oceans I just want to see what they look like for a little bit I hope that's alright for you oh my god Okay then. We're all right. Everything's okay. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. 
These things are coming for me, aren't they? No. I mean, fish are one thing. Start putting tentacles in front of me, and that's... That's when it gets a little... Ugh. I made an entire video about exploring the ocean of a planet. So, I'll leave that in the description. Definitely check it out. But, just listen to those sounds. Yeah, so I made a video called The Least Explored Biome in No Man's Sky. And I talk about how I used to be afraid of the ocean. And I'll admit, with the extreme power of this exosuit, it's almost like a portable submarine. The ocean is not as scary as it once was to me. But of course there are still dangers to be aware of. worlds underneath worlds. And I'll admit, I don't do it as often. But if you can, if you can gather the resources and muster up the courage, you know, I definitely think you should give it a try. Maybe now that I've just seen so many things, they stop becoming scary and start becoming very intriguing. This is exactly what I've been needing. I've been in the waters of Night City and uh, they're definitely not full of life like these planets are. So, for me it's worth it to Try to take that time out for yourself and explore something new, discover something new. of my videos is going to be look at how beautiful it is but seriously look how beautiful it is everywhere you look there's just something that just really strikes home I feel this in a good way. It makes me feel small. Not insignificant, but 
but rather that we are all part of this, this life journey. We've all taken our own path and I think it's beautiful when we have the opportunity to, to share it with each other. So, thank you for sharing some time with me today. If you've liked what you've watched, consider subscribing. Maybe you'll catch me in Night City. Maybe in Los Santos. Maybe a new alien planet. Possibilities are endless.